Odd and weird African traditions. Africa possesses some of the strangest traditional practices, ranging from washing a corpse and using the collected water to prepare a meal for fellow community members. Africa has many practices, some of which are known, and many others that are unknown to the world. Some of these customs still exist in the remote parts of the continent many years after civilization. These ethnic communities practice certain traditions that will leave you shocked. Here are five tribes from across Africa with mouth-dropping customs. Number one, the Udabi's wife stealing night dance. The Udabi ethnic group can be found in the northern parts of Nigeria, northeastern Cameroon, the western region of Central Africa Republic, and southwestern Chad. It's a subgroup of the Fulani ethnic group. In their customary festivity, members of the community go dancing at night. There is nothing strange with the dance. But one thing is for sure, the whole night is not all about dancing. In the stillness of night, men are also allowed to steal women from their tribe. It doesn't matter if the woman is married or not. The man is allowed to keep her unless the woman refuses or her husband catches the man in the process of stealing the woman. Number two, Chewa's festival of the dead. The Chewa community is a Bantu tribe mostly found in Malawi. This group is known for its secretive society known as Nyau and for covering their faces in masks. The community is also known for their agricultural practices. During the burial ceremony of a tribe member, it is customary for the body of the deceased to be washed. To wash the corpse, the body is taken to a sacred place where the cleansing is done by slitting the throat and pouring water through the insides of the dead. The water is squeezed out of the body until it comes out clean. Then comes the bizarre part of the practice. The water is collected and used to prepare a meal for the whole community. Number 3. Banyankole's Potency Test In many African cultures, an aunt plays many roles among them being advising young nieces as they get through life stages including adolescence and marriage. In Uganda, one's aunt is not only used to advise a new bride but they also have to have sex with the groom as a potency test. Additionally, the aunt has to test the bride's purity before the bride and groom are allowed to consummate their marriage. Another tradition directs the aunts to prove the potency by listening in or watching as a couple engages in sexual intercourse. Number 4. Bull Jumping in Ethiopia In the African culture, young boys have to undergo some form of ritual to prove their manhood. In Ethiopia, this involves a series of events. A young boy has to strip naked, run, jump and land on the back of a bull. This is then followed by running across the backs of several bulls arranged in a straight and closely knit herd of animals pulled by the tail and horns by older men. The practice is known as Hamar. Female friends of the warrior-to-be are made to cover their whole body head and hair with ochre mixed with fat. Then they have to dance and get lashed by elders until they are so in the name of loyalty to their friend. Number 5. Spitting as a form of greeting. Maasai tribe. The Maasai tribe found in Kenya and Tanzania spit as a way of saying hello. While the Englishman will say hello, Spitting is a way of greeting. Asides that, when a baby is born, it is the custom of the man to spit on the newborn and refer to him as bad. They believe this will protect the baby from evil spirits. Maasai warriors also spit in their hands before shaking the hand 
of an elder. Furthermore, the Maasai tribe is also famous for its drinking of fresh animal blood. Number 6. Lip Stretching Ethiopia and Sudan The people of Surma tribe are found in southern Sudan as well as southwestern Ethiopia. During teenage years, females undergo the lip stretching procedure which involves removing their lower teeth to accommodate a lip plate. The lip plate is increased in size yearly until it's an astounding size. Some of the men do this similar exercise with their ears. They also indoctrinate their warriors known as stick fighters by inflicting scars on them. The belief is that the more scars they have, the more attractive they are to female members of the tribe. Number 7. Sharo beating to earn a wife. Sharo is a traditional cultural practice where young Fulani men in Nigeria compete to find a wife. The participants are flogged with wooden sticks and canes to test their endurance. But the practice has declined in recent years with some Fulani men describing it as dangerous and forbidden in Islam. And that's all we have for the list today. African traditions, weird and strange. I'm Jim Walton. Thanks for tuning in. I'll be back with more stuff. Keep it locked. Keep it right here. Goodbye. Keep safe and hustle hard.